Is this the yeah. one? Okay, this is, this is the one! one. <laughs> since we got to Langkawi, this is the thing that I have been most excited for and I think it is going to be one of our top things to do in Langkawi. If you can kind of guess from the background and what you can see here what we're about to do now, we have met up with Han <laughs> from Langkawi Cruises and he is taking us to a yacht to cruise around the island. Very excited. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen the boat yet. <laughs> Feeling this is this one right here. There's a few guys, crew, waiting and looking at us. This is the yeah. one? Okay, this is this the one. one. Ah! So our crew take care of all your drinks and your food and whatever that you need. Thank you. I'm supposed to be filming your reaction. <laughs> yes. All right. Perfect. Are you excited? Hell yeah. <laughs> We are taking this yacht out on our very own private tour of the island. They've already set an itinerary for us where they're going to take us to some of the main things to do and see around the island. We get to swim in the beautiful blue water, enjoy this amazing sailing boat. They've even got a kayak for us in snorkeling gear and we are so excited for this experience. We're going to stay on this boat all afternoon all the way into sunset. Oh my gosh, we've been greeted with some cold juices. We have a basket full of snacks and they just brought us out a plate of sandwiches to enjoy as well. And they just have the music on for us. Yes. We've been cruising for just over an hour through the most idyllic scenery and just kind of witnessing a few of the 99 islands that are here in the Langkawi Archipelago. We've stopped at this island which is really famous for a myth. I don't know if you can see behind me but the island is kind of shaped like a pregnant woman. The island is Palu Deyang Bantin and inside it is a mythical magical lake of the pregnant maiden which is said if you aren't able to conceive you go and drink the water of the lake and you will be magically able to conceive. Langkawi is actually known for having a lot of myths and legends about all the different um, natural icons of this area. So next we'll be going to Palu Singa Basar which apparently is an eagle feeding spot. So I'm not sure if I already mentioned this in this vlog but Langkawi actually means red eagle. There are three different types of eagles that live here on the island so we're gonna go check that out. food they are providing us is absolutely insane for just two people. They've already given us an entire plate of sandwiches which Max demolished. We've also got a big bowl of these really delicious little sort of similar to lychee fruits. There's a whole basket worth of chips. There's salad wraps inside as well. There's as many drinks as we could possibly imagine. And all of this doesn't even include the dinner that we will be having later as well, which we've had a little sneak peek of and it looks incredible. And once again, way too much food for just two people. She doesn't know what she's talking about, don't worry. There's never too much food to too many people. Donald Trump wants his blue blazer black. <laughs> Why would he want his blue blazer black? <laughs>
there must be at least 50 eagles right now, right in front of us. They came out of nowhere, there was just two when we arrived, and then just got crazy mad. That's the huge, beautiful animals. Yeah. There's so many there, like hundreds. We drove into the bay and there was a few flying around, and now all of a sudden there are just hundreds of them here. I hope my shots made justice to the scene. I do apologize, I'm not a professional National Geographic photographer or videographer. Nevertheless, a beautiful sight. We've made it to our next stop, which is called Small Infant Island. Uh, apparently, it's, there's Fat Island and Small Fat Island, and this is Small <laughs> Fat Island. And uh, yeah, it's very hot, so we came here to enjoy a bit of the freshness of the water. Yes, it's definitely time to go for a swim. Let's go. Let's go for a swim. Before we go out there, get all messy, I thought we'll just give you a bit of a tour of the boat. So this boat called Eisen is a Leopard 39. That is the term, I don't know, it's like a BMW V series I don't know. Nevertheless, it's a 12 meter long boat. Uh, we are now facing or standing at the stern. Um, it's a very chilled, laid back area. It's got a lot of sitting area. And just to find out that this goes sideways, so you can, anyway, pretty cool. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, there are fans because it is really hot here, so it's very nice. Even though we're moving, you still don't feel as much air, so the fan really helps. Let me show you inside. Now, one amazing luxury we have here is aircon. Come into the fridge. It's an amazing luxury. I don't know how to power all of this, but for a few days, I guess it's something they can afford to do. There is a little kitchen here with an actual oven and here you have a beautiful big table. We can probably sit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people probably. Now there are three cabins in this boat. We have master with an ensuite bathroom, which is mostly the staff quarter right now. So I'm not going to go and check it out, but as you would imagine what it looks like. And behind Jacqueline, we have two bedrooms and I'll show you the rooms. So we're going to the port side. I think it's the port side. The port side, so the left, which is the small cabin out of the three. And I mean, I'm not giant, but I'm sure two of me could fit there. So two adults could easily fit there. There's storage compartments everywhere, life jackets for this one. Plenty of space. We have the, we have the double room here and yeah. Definitely enough space for two, even a kid in the middle or like a little toddler. Plenty of storage area, windows for fresh air and a fan. There's a fan here as well. Very good. And doors, so privacy. In the bathroom, separate shower to the toilet, little window outside for fresh air and a proper sink. So this is very, very spacious. Yeah, very good. And now I'm going to take you to the best part of the boat. You have the entire front of the boat, which gets a lot of sun, as you can see, to just chill and relax. There's this uh, trampoline -y sort of thing that you can lay and sunbake on. They've also got these very comfortable cushions, which you can lay on or bring down here. They're amazing. And also just take in the gorgeous views that you have now. When the boat is moving, it's really nice sitting here with the breeze and everything. I think we're going to really enjoy sunset here in a couple hours. The captain has arrived. Beautiful, we desperately needed this. That breeze felt so good. I can see my boat, my stuff is working well. My woman is still looking good. Oh my god, this guy. We give him one luxury experience, guys, and look who he turns into. Unbelievable. 
Oh my god. <laughs> In all seriousness, no. We are extremely grateful for this experience. We've been loving every single moment of it. And it's just way over the top. <laughs> but in the best kind of way. I have no idea how they knew that we were ready to leave, but our dinghy is already coming back to get us. Time for beer. So we just come back from swimming at the beach and the staff have set up this incredible looking dinner with a lot of food. There's so much stuff there. I hope they're joining us to eat because there's way too much food for just two people. Don't you worry, there will be no leftovers. They will join us, but there will be no leftovers. It looks really good by the way. They pulled it out of nowhere. It looks really good. And there's vegetables. Yeah, impeccable food. We even got white wine to enjoy with dinner. The sun is still pretty high, but it's gonna be setting soon. And I don't know what this food is, but it looks amazing. Well, beautiful people, it's been one hell of a day. It's been so good. Honestly, we are full in food, enjoyment, views, alcohol. It's honestly been absolutely epic. Yeah, this part of Malaysia is absolutely stunning and getting to see it by boat and see all these uninhabited islands that are just absolutely beautiful with nature swimming in this gorgeous warm water and now sitting at the front of a boat whilst we watch the sunset honestly we couldn't have asked for a better afternoon we're so grateful but this is it yeah thank you so much for watching thank you to Linkawi Cruises for allowing this magical afternoon to happen for us we really appreciate you and we've had the most spectacular experience in our next vlog we're going to be heading to a little less traveled part of malaysia so we'll see you in sabah borneo <laughs> bye guys bye uh, yes Catch you guys as well all right cheers guys perfect thank you so much